Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I will introduce the future of virtualization and how virtualization technology sits in the cloud-native infrastructure. So if you look back to 10 years or 15 years ago, when we talk about virtualization, it's all about the server consolidation with legacy applications. It's also the driving force for early cloud. But now, with the advancement of cloud-native, people care more about how to build and run applications natively in cloud. For this goal, it actually requires lots of um, technologies, including orchestration, container, function and service, platform and service, infrastructure and service, etc. Among those uh, technologies, if we look at the core of the cloud-native infrastructure, virtualization technology can still play a cr critical role for what? The best isolation and security. So if you look at the ecosystem, last year, Amazon uh, introduced the Firecracker, which is a lightweight uh, KVM-based uh, VMM uh, for function as a service. As we also know, the Kata container, it's, uh, it uses the hardware virtualization technology for the speed of containers and uh, security of virtual machine. So we must shift the virtualization technology to meet those new requirements in cloud native. Um, in this slide, I actually gave some examples of the new requirements for this uh, shift. Um, for virtualization technology, it needs to be lightweight. Lightweight means uh, small memory footprint, simplicity, and also small attacking surface. And also be fast for the, to bring us the bare metal experience at high density for the best use of the computing resource, quick startup for the agile life cycle management, and of course security is always the fundamental requirement in cloud. So the old virtual technology has to change. We must change it from the sole consolidating purpose to any combination of those new cloud native requirements. A recent answer to this shift is Rust VM. This project actually comes out of Firecracker and uh, CrossVM, uh, but it goes much broader. A primary goal of Rust VM is to pr allow build custom VMM easily. So you can consider it as a library or Lego, a set of virtualization components. Anyone can pick and drag to build a, a custom hypervisor very quickly. On top of such a trusted base, then people can focus more on the differentiating features in their own usage. So the core philosophy of Rust VM is modular, as shown in this figure. So the blue color box are already in the upstream repo, and the light blue color boxes are still under development. Um, current sets uh, are selected based on the modern correlative requirements, but it's just a starting point. There will be more features uh, coming in the future. And here are some examples, including the device uh, model, the memory abstraction, the virtual vhost backend, and also the vfile uh, device pass-through. Currently, KVM is the only supported hypervisor, but people are also working to extending uh, to support other hypervisors, such as the Hyper-V. Um, so this is the community work. And uh, it came to life in last uh, December, currently with active developers from Alibaba, Amazon, Google, Intel, Red Hat, many companies. At the last, I would like to give an example how to use Rust VM to build a modern uh, cloud hypervisor. So here, when I say modern, it means the target is for the modern cloud applications on recent hardware. For example, we don't care about the legacy devices. So the end goal is to reduce the emulation complexity, thus provide a much smaller attacking surface compared to existing VMM, for example, QMU. Uh, of course, it also needs to provide the high performance and no latency. So look at this architecture. The core of the cloud hypervisor is based on the Rust VMM. Uh, it tries to use the, as much of the Rust VMM code as possible. In the same time, we also use the cloud hypervisor to develop and test new features which are still missing in Rust, Rust VMM community, for example, live migration. And once those features are done, we will put, contribute back to the Rust VMM community very quickly. Um, cloud hypervisor also supports the third-party components, for example, DVDK. So this project was uh, released uh, this May, and currently it's still new, but uh, there are lots of good progress, also reflected in the uh, Rust VMM community. 
So we welcome uh, contributions to both projects, uh, Cloud Hypervisor and also Rust VVM, and the network together to make the virtualization technology still in the center of the cloud native infrastructure. Thank you very much.